You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, Days of Our Lives fans, it is Soap Dirt on YouTube, and we want to talk about wedding mayhem on Days of Our Lives coming soon to Salem. There are three weddings in the works and things are going to get very crowded because all three of the weddings are part of the same family and are about to set off a whole bunch of fireworks in the mansion between villains, villainesses, brides, grooms, pregnant women, everything. We're super excited for this because Days of Our Lives loves to do explosive things with weddings and with three weddings in the works, it seems like the stage is set for epic fireworks. We're going to dig into all that in just a second. But hey, if you haven't already, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Days of Our Lives, spoilers, predictions, casting news, promos, everything you want to know about your favorite NBC Peacock streaming soap opera. All right, so let's talk about the three couples. We've got Stefan Demera and Gabby Hernandez. We've got EJ Demera and Nicole Walker. And we've got Dimitri von Leuschner and Gwen Rizchek. Only one of these couples is actively engaged, but another is about to be engaged, and it looks like the third is in the offing. First, let's talk about Stefan and Gabby. They are shooting for a marriage at the end of July, so roughly in about a month from now, and we do know that Camilla Banus is leaving as Gabby Hernandez. However, she shouldn't be leaving for a couple more months after this wedding, unless they did something wild, killed her off, and then she made ghostly beyond the grave appearances to finish out her run on days, which that wouldn't be outside the realm of possibility for the way Days of Our Lives operates. But Steffi and Gabin are happily planning their wedding for the end of July. But the problem is there's another Demera who needs to get married and he needs to get married pretty fast. And that is Dimitri von Leuschner. He is three months away, or he was when we first heard about that, three months away from his 40th birthday. If he gets married by the time he's 40, he gets a crap pile of money and his rotten mom, Megan Hathaway, wants that money to fund her private army to take over the world, which of course is her lofty goal as Stefano's daughter, who's completely insane megalomaniac. Okay, so Dimitri von Leuschner was first told to marry his Aunt Kristen, who's not biologically related to him, but still, ew. And he said, ew, no thanks. No offense to Kristen, but he said no. And then Gwen showed up looking for an interview, and his mom, Megan, said, well, go romance Gwen Rischek. She's fine. She doesn't even really care who he marries at this point, as long as he gets married and gives her the pile of money to invest in her army. So this week, Dimitri gets Gwen in bed and he impresses her with his in the sack skills. And then he tells her he has fallen for her head over heels so fast, faster than he ever thought was possible. And then he's going to propose to her, which all sounds ludicrous and insane. And any reasonable woman would probably go, uh, maybe we should tap the brakes, except for a couple of things. First, Dimitri is ridiculously good looking. Second, he's handsome, he's already wealthy, and he's about to be a lot wealthier. So he's got a lot on his side. But the main reason that Gwen Rizchek is probably going to accept this proposal is that her ego is brutally wounded. It has been stomped on by both Alex Kyriakis and Xander Cook. They both rejected her recently. She didn't care that much about Alex other than she was enjoying him being in her bed. But Xander really crushed her. So Gwen Gwen is kind of feeling like she's at a romantic low, and so I do think she's going to let Dimitri put a ring on it. Leo Stark, her best friend, is going to freak out about this. He is already freaking, and by the end of this week, little Leo, a.k.a. Lady Whistleblower, is going to be over at the the Demera Mansion raging at Megan some more about stay away from my best friend, quit trying to use her, yada, yada, yada. Of course, it's not going to stop Dimitri and Megan from using her. And so I fully expect them to walk down the aisle very soon. And with Stefan and Gabby planning a wedding for end of July, I feel like that Dimitri and Megan might try to, might go ahead and let them make the wedding plans and maybe they lock the bride and groom down in the tunnels below the house so Dimitri and Gwen could just take over their wedding or maybe they push for a double wedding. Now let's talk about the third pairing that probably is going to be getting married that is Demera adjacent. That's EJ Demera and Nicole Walker. And you remember a few weeks ago, he dropped down to one knee and proposed to her and she said a hard and fast no. First of all, because she felt like he was doing it as a knee-jerk reaction to the news that Stefan had proposed to Gabby and she said yes. 
And Nicole was also extremely uncertain because at that point she thought that there was a 50-50 chance that either Eric or or EJ could be her baby daddy. And now that she thinks it's EJ, she may be a lot more open to accepting a marriage proposal from him. And I feel like he definitely wants to get a ring on her finger and he wants her to be a Demera before she gives birth to his baby. So with wedding plannings in the offing, EJ and Stefan could either decide they want to have a double wedding as brothers or EJ might try the same thing to just co-opt Stefan and Gabby's wedding plans. But Gabby is trying to get EJ and Stefan to see reason and to recognize that the they have a common enemy, that they should not be each other's rivals, that they need to band together to deal with the threat that is Dimitri, Megan, and Kristen. Although EJ is having a nice time bonding with Sister Kristen while they are locked in the tunnels below the house, but even so, Megan and Dimitri are still a big problem. So it could be that EJ and Stefan amicably agree to share their wedding day, and that would be all right. I think Gabby and Nicole would would be okay. They're not like besties or anything. There's a lot of angst there. And so it would be kind of funny because they're not besties because they would probably be trying to outshine each other and they would both probably be insane bridezillas in competition with each other. So there is a lot of room to have fun. What would be even more interesting if Megan then came in and insisted to both Stefan and EJ that they also have to share their wedding day with the other brother, Dimitri, or their, let me see, he's your sister, so he's their nephew, right? Do I have that right? I think he's their nephew. At any rate, Megan may try to steal their wedding day, or she may apply pressure to them to agree to let Dimitri and Gwen share in this wedding. It would be fabulous if Days of Our Lives had a triple wedding with tons of mayhem and trouble. And of course, we know that Megan wants to kill Stefan, and so she may also take the opportunity at that wedding to do something to him, to try and poison him, to something vile, since she'll be part of the setup. So what do you think? I am pretty excited that we might get this triple insane Demera 3 deep wedding. Okay. We'll have to wait and see. We don't have any official spoilers for it yet. If you haven't already, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Days of Our Lives spoilers, casting news, promos, predictions, all that good stuff. All right. So back to this triple wedding. I definitely think that Stefan and EJ could be amenable to sharing a wedding day, even though Gabby and Nicole would probably prefer their own wedding days. But since Stefan and Gabby are fast tracking their nuptials and EJ and Nicole may want to fast track theirs because she's pregnant and you never know what's going to happen with her high-risk pregnancy. But the big question mark is Dimitri and Gwen. Will they go down to City Hall or will they try to push their way and have a three-deep Demera wedding, which could result in madness, mayhem, and maybe some light murder? What do you think? Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.